Hey guys, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a hot minute since I have filmed anything. I did a live video a couple weeks ago. Um, but yeah, I haven't really done a video since May, I think. Um, so yeah. Hi guys. How are you all doing? I hope you all are well, staying healthy. I don't really have much planned for this video. I just figured I had the time today. It is currently, as I'm filming this, it is a Monday morning, it is raining, it's kind of dreary, and it's my day off. So, here I am just sitting on the couch, figured I would talk to you guys. So let's kind of do a wedding update, because, <laughs> oh my god. So, for those of you who don't know, I'm getting married in September of 2024. So I have just, we just passed the two year mark until we get married and I've started to look for venues because right now venues are already booking up for they when I got engaged they're already booking for the 2022 right now and they're already were booking for 2023 and pretty soon they'll be booking for 2024 so I have been looking at venues now my ideal dream wedding was kind of like a barn rustic wedding. Always loved that style, thought it was so pretty. But <laughs> the prices, oh my God. So most barn venues around here where I live in Southern Maine, just for the rental, just, just the building, just to rent the building. The cheapest I found is $6,000. And that includes nothing. That is just the venue. So, yeah, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of a bit steep. At first, when we first got engaged, I was like, oh, you know, I'll set a wedding budget of $5,000. Well, <laughs> that was quickly blown out of the water. Um, I have checked into a couple different places. Um, most places around here average about 7,000 just to rent the venue. And that doesn't include anything, that doesn't include food, uh, chairs, tables, nothing that is just the rental of the building. So I think I'm kind of steering away from that because, you know, Justin and I would rather put our money towards something, you know, like a home or things like that, um, versus just one day. So I have been checking out other alternatives. I did uh, contact, <laughs> you guys ready for this one? So I did contact, <clears throat> excuse me, like, um, it's like an inn in New Hampshire. Um, not like, you know, like a big fancy one or anything, just, you know, a cute little inn. And let me say this too. We're not having a big, big wedding. Like we're what they would call a micro wedding. Um, I think we're looking at if we were to go a high number, like 50 guests would be a high number. So, um, very small, what they call a micro wedding. So I reached out to this inn because they had, you know, like a little micro, micro wedding package. So they didn't have their prices listed. That should have been a friggin' red flag. I emailed them and told them, you know, we'd be like a max of 50 guests, that's going in over the top, whatever, but let's just go 50, you know, rather be safe than sorry. So they emailed me back a price, and this was just to rent the place, it didn't include their catering or anything, this was just rent. $19,990. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was just floored. I, I <laughs> and that was a micro wedding. I can't imagine how much like a hundred guest wedding would be. I mean, oh my god. So that got axed off. Um, so now I'm looking at there is a um, like an inn in Maine. It's right on the ocean um, where they do what they call elopement packages. Um, one is like strictly like an elopement, you know, it's just you and your partner or whatever. Then they offer like an upgrade up where you can have um, up to 40 guests 
and I think the whole package, like it includes everything. Everything is included. Um, right around 7,000 for everything. So that is a little bit more what I'm interested in. Um, one of my friends that I work with, she's actually getting married there in December. She's just doing the strict elopement, you know, two people thing. And um, I'm kind of waiting to see what does she think, you know, um, get her opinion on it. Um, but yeah, so We'll see, if not, um, my boss has kindly offered to marry us. He's um, ordained um, in the state of New Hampshire. So he kind of recommended to us to also look for um, Airbnbs that might be like on Lake Winnipesaukee or something, um, you know, something like that. So we'll see. I mean, it's, just, I keep saying I got a long time to go, but Ooh, you know it's it's it'll come fast so yeah I'm I haven't I don't know I haven't been into it fully yet right now because I think I just kind of got like the wind knocked out of me like with some of these prices like uh, <laughs> you know but we'll see I, I still do have enough time to plan things and you know the economy can easily change so I'm so thankful that he and I decided to have a long engagement because I think I really would have regretted if we had done like a year or something because the prices of everything right now is just so crazy and he, like I said, he and I would just rather put our money towards things that are more worth it, you know. So then what else? He and I are also looking for places to live which... I swear to God, like, between the cost of everything right now, um, you know, trying to plan our wedding, that's, everything's crazy expensive there, and then the housing market right now, oh my God, it's just, it's, it's like a gut punch, you know what I mean? Like, when you want to start off, and you want to start your family, and you just kind of get the wind knocked out of your sails, that's what sucks right now, you know? I'm having such a hard time looking for places. Um, here I live in Southern Maine and it's just, it's outrageous. I mean, you're talking one bedroom or st even studio apartments starting at 2000 a month. I mean, it's just, uh, and re or like right around here, nothing really includes anything. Um, you're lucky if you have like heat included a lot of things it's just bare bones so I don't know I don't know we'll see um I would be open I say that now I don't know. it would depend where I would be open to moving out of state um granted all my family's here but you know it's just hard it's hard to make it here so I don't know I <laughs> it's like it's not I'm not gonna say it's depressing, but it's just kind of like, ugh, you know, everything that you wanna try and plan to do for your family is just being affected right now by everything. So that's again, it goes back to, I'm glad he and I have two years to plan for all this. You know, he and I did want to be living together for at least a year before we got married. So <laughs> that clock is ticking. Um, by the way, I just realized this. I haven't told you guys our wedding date yet, have I? I haven't. I don't think I did. Well, maybe in the next video. Justin and I actually yesterday, we went and had um, some photos taken. We wanted to have photos taken this time of year, kind of like for our engagement, um, because this is the month that he and I will be getting married in. And um, we just wanted to have some pictures that were more like appropriate, you know, we got married, we got married, we got engaged on Easter, which is in the spring. So having pictures done like spring, summertime just didn't quite capture our vibe. So we had pictures done yesterday and I so can't wait till they come back. We're going to do another photo shoot too at the, um, the Wells Reserve, um, 
probably next month. Um, try and do like a golden hour sunset down there. Um, for those of you who don't know what the Wells Reserve is, it's in Wells Beach, Maine. It is like right on the water and estuaries and so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Gorgeous property that you can go to and there's like walking trails and it's stunning. So we're going to do um, some more photos there. But yesterday we went to an apple orchard and then we also went to a park and did pictures there. So when I get those pictures back, I promise you guys, I will do a video announcing our wedding date. That's what we will do. Um, I don't think I've announced it anywhere, really. I haven't, but anyways, just, just stay tuned and you'll see a video dedicated to that. Um, I'll do like a little picture show of he and I together with our cute little apple orchard pictures, you know, that I made him go to. Although, he he's such a good sport. Justin, Justin is so sweet when it comes to, like, things that I want to do or things that some guys might find to be stupid. He doesn't care. You know, he's down for anything. So that is, that's one of the many qualities about him that I just, I love. So that was really fun yesterday. It was one of his friends. Um, she does photography and, you know, she's learning like the ropes and everything with it. So we were so excited to just, you know, have her do some photos of us. So can't wait for those pictures to come back and just, you know, see how everything turns out. It was. So when we first booked this out, we did booked it like three weeks a month in advance. And so I was thinking like, oh, you know, September, it's going to be like fall vibes, you know, apple picking. So I went and got an outfit. I got a dress from Shein and it's like a mustardy colored dress with flowers on it. And I bought a denim jacket from Old Navy and I was like, oh, this is going to be so cute. Got Justin a matching, like, mustardy colored shirt at Old Navy as well. Oh, my God, you guys. Yesterday, it was 80 degrees and humid as hell. And then in the afternoon, it was going to rain. So it was kind of, the morning bit was kind of sunny and hot. And then it became, like, humid and overcast and by the time he and I got towards like the last of our shoot, like the sweat was just rolling off from us. And I'm like, of all times, you know, I really, I really didn't think that it would be like that, you know, this time of year. But it has been so hot here this summer. So I don't know why I was surprised because why not, right? Also, while I'm thinking of it, I do have, and I have written them down, I have the questions that you guys asked us on Instagram um, for Justin and I to do. So we'll do that. Um, let me get the chance to. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I'll do another video with him soon. Um, yeah, I will do a video when our, I almost said our wedding pictures. <sighs> When our engagement photos come in so you guys can see that and I will announce our I will set our, our wedding date it is our wedding date oh my god you guys I'm tired <laughs> I really need to go back to bed <sighs> all right guys on that note I'm gonna sign off from here like I said um I just want to check in real quick and say hi to everyone hope you're all doing well um, I know I always say like, oh, I'll have more videos soon. And then like life happens and I get busy doing things, but, um, I'll have more time coming up pretty soon. Um, the greenhouse will be wrapping up for the season and I'll have uh, some free time. All right, guys, I gotta remember how this goes. I always forget. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. How did I do that? All right, guys. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Until my next video, I will see you later. Mm, there it is right there. Alright guys, thanks for watching and until my next video, I will see you later. Bye.